Okay, let's start the form called Siu Fu Nan, the small tiger eye set from the advanced level curriculum. This one is going to begin like all eagle claw sets do, which is with two hook hands. So hook hand down. Bring your fist up to the side of your head and punch high like we do in the form Gong Lek Kyun. From here, chamber your right fist as you drop your left fist out to the side, step out to horse and circle block arrow stance punch. From here, northern flower up to hanging stance, circle, cut, and back to cat. That's the first couple of moves. Let's try that one more time. Together, we have hook hands. We have fists up to the side, punch high. Fist sink to horse, circle block, arrow stance, punch. Cross the hands, cut up to hanging, and back to cat. Okay, we have the first couple moves. Let's continue with adding a few more to this set. Again, from hook hands, fist high, high punch, step circle, arrow punch, cut up to hanging and back to cat. From here, we're going to pivot, pushing from the left toe and pivoting through the right ball of the foot into cat stance. It's kind of a weird cat stance. You're going to left toe kick and step left, right quickly forward. Right palm goes into chamber, circle block, palm strike. From here, palm comes up to the elbow as you hook down and pull with the right hand with the hook and lock down with the left hand. Let's just do one more move from this combination and then we will review. From here, we're going to catch with the left, horse stance, dimbo jumping, fist in chamber and circle block, arrow stance punch. That's the beginning. Let's try that a few more times. One time, everything that we've done so far, hook hand, Fist up to high chamber, high punch. Step out to horse, circle block, arrow punch. Cross, cut up to hanging, and away to cat. Pivot through the feet, toe kick. Step one, two. Right palm to chamber, circle, palm strike. Catch, pull, dinbo. Circle block, punch. All right, so I'm going to break this down now facing a different direction so you can see some of the techniques more clearly that you can't see when I'm facing away. So our starting position, our palms are down by our side, and of course we have hook hands, that's easy stuff. Bring your fists up to your high chamber, high punch, and then from here, the right fist goes to chamber, that's this back hand, the right fist goes to chamber, as the left fist comes down, step, circle block, arrow stance, punch. From here, crossing, flowering, up to cat, and away, and now you can see very clearly the footwork here. I'm going to pivot and toe kick, and one, two step. From here, right palm in chamber, circle, palm strike, catch and pull, and then dinbo, press, single circle block punch. Okay? Now, all of that, I'll do one more time facing this way. Okay? We have hooks, we have high chamber, high punch, we have step horse, circle punch, cut up to hanging and away to cat. Pivot, toe kick, one, two step. Palm in chamber, circle block, arrow stance, palm strike, pull down. And thin bow, circle block punch. Okay, now that you've seen that from several perspectives, try to piece it together, step by step. Okay, good. So let's continue on through the form. We are gonna finish the first row in this segment. I'm gonna change my directions now for the sake of following along, and then we'll plug it back into our original uh, orientation of the form after we get this down. This way you can kind of see what's happening without looking over your shoulder as you practice. Where we are going to start is from a horse stance. We have the pressing, kind of a sliding action, pressing forearm block, arrow stance, punch. From here, we're gonna step in with our left and lift our right, step to horse stance, and smash down to break. This is the same break we have in Siu Min Jung, where we smash with the fist and we claw at the wrist. Okay, let's try that one more time. Again, we have the pressing forearm block, circle block, punch. Step and break. 
From here, we're going to do a tornado kick to the right, jumping, <laughs> kicking and landing, immediately landing and making fists. We're gonna circle block and step in. I'm gonna change my feet to stay in the frame. Circle block and step in with the left, punch arrow to horse. And that's the end of the first row of the form. So now I'll do that facing the other direction. If you wanna rewatch that a few times in that perspective, go ahead. But at this time I'm going to change my direction, reorienting to the way we practice it in the form. We had the pressing forearm block here, and then we had circle block, arrow stance, and punch. From here we're gonna step in and break. Smashing down, tornado kick, land, immediately circle. I'm gonna step back, one, two, and three. Okay, so that little combination, it takes a lot of room. So again, that's a normal arrow stance, step forward with your circle block, left punch, arrow stance, right punch, horse stance punch, and I'm adjusting the footwork to stay in the frame. And of course, as you're practicing in whatever space you're in, you can make these adjustments as well to stay in, to stay in your space, okay? That is the end of row one. Practice that small segment, and then we'll do the whole row together. Good job. Okay, let's do all of row one of Siu Fu Nan. Two hook hands, high chamber, high punch. Two fists as you sink, look to your left, circle and punch. Cross flower up, cut, and back to cat. Pivot through the feet, toe kick, step one, two. Circle block, palm, lock down, lock down, punch. Step, break, tornado kick, one, two, and three. And a little bit faster. 